She runs as fast as she can, dodging the bullets and the explosions. She knows she has to reach the bunker before it's too late. She has a mission to complete, a message to deliver. She is the last hope for the resistance. She sees the entrance ahead, a metal door hidden behind some rubble. She leaps over the debris and reaches for the handle. She pulls it open and slips inside. She slams the door shut and locks it. She breathes a sigh of relief. She made it. She looks around the bunker. It's dark and dusty, but she can see some equipment and supplies. She spots a radio on a table. She grabs it and turns it on. She tunes it to the frequency she memorized. Hello? Hello? This is Agent 47. I have the intel. Do you copy? She waits for a response, hoping someone is listening. Agent 47, this is base. We copy you loud and clear. What's the intel? She smiles. They are still alive. I have the coordinates of the enemy's secret weapon. It's a nuclear bomb. They plan to detonate it in 24 hours. She hears a gasp on the other end. Are you sure? How did you get this information? She hesitates. She doesn't want to reveal her source. He was a brave man who sacrificed himself for the cause. He was also her lover. I have my ways. Trust me, it's accurate. She hears a pause. Okay. We trust you, Agent 47. What are the coordinates? She reads them from the paper she holds in her hand. Got it. We'll send a team to disable the bomb. Thank you, Agent 47. You've done a great service to humanity. She feels a tear roll down her cheek. You're welcome, base. Over and out. She turns off the radio and puts it down. She looks at the paper again. She sees his handwriting, his signature, his final words. I love you. She folds the paper and puts it in her pocket. She lies down on a cot and closes her eyes. She hopes he's in a better place. Back